Hello, wild ones. I know some of you saw last week I set up a silk studio, and this week I'm painting a huge commission, 10 feet long by 16 inches wide, two big um, pieces, and then one smaller scarf piece, 11 by 60 inches, and those are gonna be for a church for Lent. So I did some quick work and did some painting and I will explain more about that as you see me paint. Send me on fast forward and with a little bit of uh, music in the background and some explanation, I hope you enjoy. Here I'm starting with water, which helps the dye not go into that area. So I'm kind of preserving an area. If you watch that water, it'll slowly scooch down all the way to the center. And that's how the dye works too. It just moves to where it's dry. So unlike watercolor, pa watercolor paper, you use water as a resist in silk painting. It's very different, but gosh, it feels very intuitive to me. Here I'm laying in the deep dark sky. There's quite a bit of gutta, the kind of pen-ish looking lines on this piece already that has dried overnight and some of it's yellow so it's very hard to see and a lot of it's clear which obviously is very hard to see um, and those are for the star field um, I decided I needed a little bit more clear gutta on so that's what I'm using right there it's in a little squeeze bottle it's kind of like honey like a honey-like consistency and it will dry and remain on the surface um, and it affects the ink or the dye by um, moving kind of giving the dye something to butt up against um, sometimes I'm not super concerned about how they interact I want that lost and found quality of the edge. The only places I'm really concerned about the edges are around the planets and that's part of the reason I added that water in at the beginning.
the pinks in gutta and adding the ear and this is the area where the big starfield sky planetary system um, touches down to our earth our island home um, this is meant to represent kind of a deserty scape so I'm using some browns some dark chocolate brown from Jacquard but also using a lot of alcohol and water to really blend it out adding some blues and purples into this area too because I didn't want it to be too stark of a transition but as we transition down to the earth I really go in and and blend out these colors with lots and lots of water and fluid uh, rubbing alcohol and then I salt the area pretty heavily to get a lot of little um, bits of texture into the silk. I really really like this transitional area. Um, painting it was extraordinarily fun and I think the um, gutta lines and the multicolored paint or dye lines really interact beautifully together. A lot of silk dyeing is just putting some color in and then not touching it unless you have to again. Um, I really like that aspect of it is the freeform nature and it's, it's been beautiful to work on. It's such a interesting and stunning material. Um, I really, really enjoy these areas of uh, light work after those deep, deep darks of the sky and the big purple uh, field. Now that the surface is painted, I take it out and steam set it. Um, after about a day of letting it sit, I have to roll it up in paper. And here it is coming out of the paper after the steam. Ugh, they turned out really beautifully. A lot of the colors stayed in deep and dark and just so beautiful. Uh, it's kind of like unwrapping presents for sure. Um, and that's that kind of deserty scene at the end. So after that, I spent about 24 more hours letting it sit. Then I go in and wash it with uh, actually shampoo because it's a fiber like our hair. And then go in and iron it to dry it. And um, all the gutta lines fall out at this point. And so you're left with these really ethereal feeling lines. And I just, I'm in love um, with this work. It's so beautiful and lush to work on. Here we are hanging it in the church. Thank you guys for helping me. Uh, they go down the sides of these big monumental windows behind the altar. Thank you, St. George, for commissioning me. Uh, they're just beautiful. They turned out really well. I also used a magnet at the bottom to weight down and straighten out the piece and I think they turned out really beautifully. In space, they look small. They're huge in person. And here's the smaller scarf piece on the lectern. And the big wall pieces. And I'm just really happy with how they frame the Lenten season at the church. I hope you enjoyed this look at silk painting. It has been just eye-opening on how fun and beautiful and connected it, uh, the work can be. You have to work very quickly and that is part of the fun. Um, please let me know what you thought. Is there any subject matter that you think would be as stunning in silk? Um, I'm sure I will be releasing more silk painting classes or lessons and just enjoying time in the studio. Uh, take care. And please like and subscribe. I hope you're enjoying this content. And wild ones, get out there and create and find those things that just light you up.